Who is this copycat pretending to be Moriarty? Finally, a problem worthy of my brain. This birthday cake is delicious. Did you get a chance to try it? No, there was a corpse in it. Watson? Oh. oh, my goodness. Huh. Find his keepers. Huh. Are you sure you wouldn't rather wait out here? The last time you were in the morgue, you... Watson, I am a man of stout constitution. Yes, of course. I just thought after the last time, with the... And, and the... Merely a bout of stomach influenza. Yes, but the time before that... Bad clams. And before that, I shook hands with a prostitute. Yes. No, no, put that away. I'm not some vaporous, giggling, fainting maiden who... Oh, ye of little... It's nothing to be ashamed of. I think I'm starting to feel a bit... I wouldn't... Are you... No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. If you start to feel sick, then I'll start to feel sick! Surely I must be done. Next to impossible to steal! All done! Yes, there. Would you like some water? Did you say water? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Shall we begin the autopsy? Oh, thank goodness these cleaning women are here to clean up this dreadful mess. Someone's made sick. Oh. Uh, my, my dear Watson, these women are far too well dressed to be cleaning women. Uh, they are here to identify their well-to-do husband's bodies. Uh, sorry for your loss. Thank you, but I am the doctor. Look, Watson, grief has scrambled her brain. She thinks she's a doctor. Fortunately, miss, there's a real doctor here who may help you. Would you like some heroin? Dr. Watson, I presume. And you must be Sherlock Holmes. Dr. Grace Hart of Boston. A woman doctor? What times we live in. <laughs> yes. In America, we are much more progressive. I now make 30 cents for every dollar a man earns. What does doctor mean in America? It means doctor. You're Dr. G. Hart of Boston. Yes. Holmes, we're in the presence of a pioneer. <laughs> Dr. Hart's work with the use of electroshock therapy to cure female hysteria is groundbreaking. Well, yes, I, I prove the higher the voltage, the more demons are released. Well, of course. Some of my patients live as long as a week. Doctor, spelled D-O-C-T-O-R. Yes. <sighs> this is my aide, Millicent. She's very shy, but a wonderful traveling companion. Shall we proceed to the examination? <laughs> Please. Our cadaver awaits. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Holmes, you look rather unwell. Perhaps you would rather stay here and keep Millicent company. Sherlock Holmes, charmed me. <laughs> to meet you. Millicent is the subject of my research. She was raised by feral cats. She has the mental capacity of a four-year-old, but it is my belief that with sufficient electroshock therapy, she can achieve the intellect of a six-year-old. We are truly in the golden age of medicine. <laughs> There's nothing left to learn. No. <laughs> what a creature you are. Devouring that onion with such passion. Strangely arousing. Dr. Watson, I have always been taken by your unwavering devotion to Mr. Holmes. But haven't you ever considered something more? Perhaps a code detective? He and I? Code detectives? Yes. <laughs> oh, the very idea. <laughs> Solving crimes together? <laughs> Laughing and enjoying the esprit de corps of two best friends pursuing a noble course madness. <laughs> no, no, not I. <laughs> not here. Not even in my most rapturous moments of private fantasy. Uh, 
Anyway, let's go clean this cake-covered bastard, shall we? The wonders of modern medicine. Now, you're going to laugh, but I found the most important tool of an autopsy is... Music. Yes. You too? This one always gets me in the mood. So begins the dance. <laughs> we have some dribble. Just a touch of dribble. <laughs> There is something so sensual about a forensic autopsy, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs>